tell me a story about someone who really took advantage of what Arts and Ideas Sudbury has to offer. That can look like any number of things, but my first go-to is a student that we actually got later on in life. It was one of our recent graduates. I believe when she enrolled, she was around 15 and was just beat down from public school, was over all of the journey that she had had with education so far. And she was, she had founded the school herself and convinced her parents to let her go here. And she was so hungry. I, I don't think I've ever seen a student that hungry to just be themselves unabashedly in community. She got started in just about everything she could. She really hit the ground running. And we see success like that from students who really want to be here and really want that freedom themselves. Um, we can see it as early as five, and we can see it as late as the teenage years um, after you've already been through other forms of education. So success can look like many different things, but I think from the entry, just a student want, who wants to be here is one of the most valuable um, times that they get out of this school. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic? is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.